In this video, I'm going to show you how to make dividing fractions just as easy as we did with the multiplying fractions. Now, it's very, very similar to what we did before in our multiplying fractions video. There's just one extra step. And by the time you've gone through this video, questions like this will be really easy. So let's have a look at those steps then. So when we're defining fractions, it's really similar, as I said, to multiplying fractions, but there's an additional step there. Let's go through all the steps together. So step number one, if we have any mixed numbers, the first thing we do is convert them into improper fractions, just like we did when we were multiplying fractions. Now, step number two is the new step here. This is when we're dividing. We take that second fraction, we flip it upside down, and we convert the divide symbol into a multiply symbol. Right, once step two is done, then we treat it just like a multiplication problem. So we reduce the fraction as much as possible, and then the last step is we multiply the denominators together and we multiply the numerators together and that's our answer. So all we have here that's different from multiplication is step number two. So let's see this in action then. Uh, number one, we have 66 over 16 divided by 55 over 64. So step number one was turn any mixed numbers into improper fractions. We don't have any mixed numbers here, so we don't need to worry about that. Step number two, take the second fraction and flip it upside down and replace the divide by a multiply. So let's do that. We're going to take that 55 over 64 and convert it into 64 over 55, and then the divide becomes a multiply. So those two questions are exactly the same thing, believe it or not. Now, once we've done that, we can do step number three and start to reduce this fraction as much as possible. So let's see what goes into what. Well, 16 and 64 do divide. 16 goes into 16 once. 16 goes into 64 four times. And that leaves me with 66 over one times by four over 55. Now, the 55 and the 66 will also reduce. 11 goes into both of them. So 11 goes into 66 six times. 11 goes into 55 five times. So I'm left with six over one times by four over five. So now I simply multiply those together. Four times six gives me 24, and one times five gives me five, so I'm left with 24 over five. If I wanted to convert that into a mixed number, it's nice and straightforward. Five into 24 goes four times, and four fifths are left over. So 24 over five are four and four fifths. Okay, let's take a look at another question. So number two looks nasty. Look at that thing, horrible looking, but it's actually no more difficult than the last question. So 28 over 45 divided by 42 over 25. The first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this into something, into a format that I'm a little more used to. So that is exactly the same question. Now, there's no mixed numbers here, so don't need to worry about step number one. So step number two tells me I'm going to flip that second fraction upside down and I'm going to convert the divide sign into a multiplier. So now I've got 28 over 45 times by 25 over 42. Let's see what uh, reduces there. So I can say fives into 45 go nine times, five into 25 go five times. So I've got 28 over nine times by five over 42. Let's see, will anything go into 28 and 42? Ah, seven will. Seven goes into 28 four times. 7 goes into 42 6 times, so I'm left with 4 over 9 times by 5 over 6. Let's see if anything else reduces. I guess the, the, the 4 and the 6 will reduce. 2 will go into both of them. So let's do that. I have 2 into 4 goes twice, so 2 over 9 times by 5 over 3. Nothing else will reduce at this stage, so I'm going to multiply the numerators together. 2 times 5 is 10, and multiply the denominators together. 9 times 3 is 27, so 10 over 27 is my answer. Now let's have a look at this nasty looking word problem that involves division as well. We have a rectangle here whose area is 12 and 4 fifths square inches. Now if the width of the rectangle is 2 and 2 fifteenths, then what is its length? So first of all, we know that area is equal to length times width. We want to find the length, so I'm going to divide both sides of that equation by w. And that tells me that the L is equal to A divided by w. So it's the area divided by the width. So this question is asking me to do 12 and 4 fifths divided by 2 and 2 fifteenths. 
Now, step number one, if we have mixed numbers, we need to convert them into improper fractions. So let's do that for each one of these. I'll do the 12 and 4 fifths first. So I've got the 5 on the bottom, and I'm going to multiply the 5 by the 12 to get 60, and add the 4. That's going to give me 64 over 5. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the 2 and 2 fifteenths. So the 15 goes on the bottom, and I'm going to say 2 times 15 is 30 plus the 2. That's going to give me 32 over 15. So all I've done so far is I've converted these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So I've got that my length is equal to 64 over 5 divided by 32 over 15. Now, step number 2. Take that second fraction, flip it upside down, and convert the divide sign into a multiply. So I now have 64 over 5 times by 15 over 32. Let's see what reduces here. Well, the 5s and the 15 reduce, so that's going to give me... Uh, 1 for the 5, and 3 instead of the 15, and also the 32 and the 64 will reduce. So 32 goes into 32 once, 32 into 64 goes twice, so I'm actually left with 2 over 1 times by 3 over 1. That's going to leave me with 6 over 1, which is simply 6. So my length is 6 inches. Okay, so now it's quiz time. Let's see if we can apply these four simple rules for division to answer these three nasty looking questions here. Okay, so you may want to pause the video here and have a go at these and then when you're ready, click restart and I'll go through the answers with you. Good luck. Welcome back and let's see how your answer was to number one. So we had 22 over seven and we're dividing that by 55 over 14. So there's no mixed numbers here so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm simply going to rewrite this question by flipping that last fraction upside down and converting the divide into a multiply. So now I have 22 over 7 times by 14 over 55. Let's see what divides into those. Well, uh, 7 goes into 7 once, 7 goes into 14 twice. So I have 22 over 1 times by 2 over 55. Now 11 goes into 22 and 11 goes into 55. 11 goes into 22 twice, 11 goes into 55 five times, so I'm left with 2 over 1 times by 2 over 5. Nothing will reduce here, so I'm simply going to multiply the numerators together. 2 times 2 is 4, and the denominators together, 1 times 5 is 5. And my answer is 4 fifths. Great. Let's have a look at number 2 now. So I'm going to slide that up there. Okay, let's rewrite this into a format that we're more used to seeing. So 3 and 2 thirds divided by 2 and 4 ninths. Now we've got mixed numbers here, so remember what we've got to do. We've got to uh, convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions before we begin. So 3 times 3 plus 2 over 3 divided by 2 times 9 plus 4 over 9. That's going to give me, uh, looks like, 11 over 3 divided by 22 over 9. Okay, so I've got rid of my mixed numbers and I've now got my improper fractions. Then step number 2 tells me that I'm going to take that last fraction and flip it upside down and convert the divide sign into a multiply. So I have 11 over 3 times by 9 over 22. So let's see what reduces here. I've got the 3s and the 9 cancels and I've got the 11s and the 22s cancel. So I'm left with 1 over 1 times by 3 over 2. So my final answer there is 3 over 2. Now let's have a look at this nasty looking word problem. We have a triangle that has an area of 9 and 5 eighths. And we want to know what the height is if the base is 4 and, and 1 twelfth. Okay, so let's see what our formula is. Well, we know the area is 1 half base times height. We're looking for the height here. So I'm going to try and rearrange that formula and get the height on its own. So let's have a look how we do this. We multiply both sides of the equation by 2. Uh, that means I've got 2a on the left-hand side, the 2 and the half cancel there. So I've just got 2a equals b times h. Now I'm going to divide by the b, and I get the h on its own. So what I need to find out here is 2 times the area divided by the base. So height is equal to 2 times by 9 and 5 eighths divided by 4 and a 12. First thing to notice here is I have uh, mixed numbers involved. So I need to convert those into improper fractions first. Uh, that's showing you how I did that there. So 9 times 8 plus 5 over 8. And 4 times 12 plus 1 over 12. 
and that's going to leave me with 2 over 1 times by 77 over 8 times by 49, uh, divided by 49 over 12. So all I've done so far is I've converted those mixed numbers into improper fractions. And with the 2, I've just called that 2 over 1, it makes it easier. It's the same thing as 2, just makes it easier to multiply the fractions together now. Now, I have that dividing by 49 over 12, so I'm going to flip that fraction upside down and multiply instead. So what I'm left with now is my height is equal to 2 over 1, times by 77 over 8, times by 12 over 49. Let's see what reduces now. So I can see the 8 and the 12 uh, will reduce if I divide both of them by 4. And I also see that the 77 and the 49 will divide both of them by 7. And let's see what that gives me. 2 over 1 times by 11 over 2 times by 3 over 7. Let's see if anything else reduces. Ah, the 2's reduce. So 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 2 once, and I'm left with 1 times 11 times 3, which is 33 on the top, and 1 times 1 times 7, which is 7 on the bottom. Now, if I want to convert that into a mixed number, that's nice and easy to do. I say 7's into 33 go 4 whole times. That would be 28. I've got 5 left over. So 4 and 5 7 inches is my height. So hopefully what you saw here is by following these four simple rules, it makes dividing fractions really straightforward. My name is Dr. Stuart Donnelly. Thank you for watching.